y'all know it's two things for show. Play with somebody else. Stop hyping me. Don't do that no more. Once I decided I want to go to law school, I went into college like, I'm going to be a theater major. I'm going to go to the performing arts because I've been in theater since I could walk. Like, I just loved being on stage. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. Good morning, beautiful people. So I actually got my tripod out to put y'all up, but I can't find the little piece, the adapter, but I'm getting on my first call of four for the day. And it's just a dreary, rainy day, but hopefully we can keep the energy up. So let's get on our first call. It's a brand partnership call kind of day. Hello. Hello. Okay, first call went really well. My hair is, it was so cute yesterday. I feel like my hair still looks cute today. Um, but I literally just put it in one bantu knot, one big bantu knot in the back of my head and that's how I reserved my hair last night. But I am about to review a contract very quickly because I have 30 minutes until my next call. It's a contract for myself. I'm working with a, uh, can I say? I haven't signed the contract yet, so I guess I shouldn't say, but actually by the time this video goes up, It'll be signed, sealed, delivered because I'm about to review it and sign it right now. But with Oral B, I'm super excited. Just Instagram story frame. So, y'all, the best way to support me on my brand partnership post is to click the links, purchase if you can, or if you like to. Of course, if you don't want the product, then don't just buy it. Um, but yeah, just like, comments, comment, 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 comments. Like, comments are gold. And share, interact. Tell them you found them because of me, things like that. That's how the best support like your creators for free. Cause if you don't want to purchase the item that is like, you don't have to purchase the item. You literally can just like, like, comment, subscribe, share, stuff like that. Anyway, I just need to make sure this um, contract doesn't say anything crazy. Well, the deadlines are coming up quick, but it's only story frames. So, but nowadays story frames, have y'all noticed like Instagram story frames can be longer than 15 seconds. Like I think you can go up to 60 seconds now. So it's giving an Instagram reel. I think it's always interesting seeing brands competitors because we might think like, for example, this is not what I'm saying, but we might think McDonald's and Burger King are like rivals and competitors, but McDonald's might be like, we looking at Chick-fil-A or, you know, we might looking at Taco Bell, whatever. But it's so interesting to me to see like who they deem as a competitor or competitive products because sometimes it's not who you think. Okay, that little time flew by. I am... About to get on a call. Hello. So long story short, I am a lawyer, content creator, and influencer marketing consultant. I'm on social media platforms. I show the real behind the scenes of being a non-traditional lawyer. And then I just share lots about self-care, lifestyle, a little bit of beauty, a little bit of fashion. Um, very yeah. like multifaceted, basically. <laughs> okay, y'all, so that call went really well. Um, I'm just trying to like monitor the emails. I don't have a like method to my madness yet because my operations manager is on vacation, which I'm so excited for her. She's going out of the country um, for the next two weeks. She's already out of the country by now, I think. Um, so I'm trying to keep up with like what she did, does, and like what I need to do. And like, I miss her. I miss her, go back. Um, no, I'm doing pretty good actually, for the most part. Anyway, I am gonna take these next six minutes before 11.30 because technically the call was on, supposed to last at 11.30. I'm going to edit today's like day two contract T and before my call at one, but. So for vertical videos, I use InShot. Really love it. They have so many different features and to me it's so easy to use. Like there's other ones such as um, CapCut and all that. And CapCut's cool too, but I just love InShot. So this is what I'm using to edit. I'm about to do that for the next, like I said, well now five minutes. Instagram, I feel like, I don't know what it is, but Instagram, YouTube, all of them, all of them, all of them, all of them been playing with your girl. But guess what? I'm going to push through. One thing, about, one thing I know is who thanks for show. I'm going to push through because I love what I do. Sometimes, like, y'all, it, it can be difficult to continue to create when, like, you're not seeing the numbers. You're not seeing the metrics. You're not seeing the money. You're not seeing this. Like, it's not always great, baby. Let me say. But it's always worth it. And it always works out. It always works out. Um, 
and it, and it can be hard like when I'm trying to like really be good at a variety of different things so a lot of hats it's like I feel like sometimes people glamorize like oh I wear so many hats it's like really like what's the saying like if you're a jack of all trades you're a master of none something like that but I think you can be a master of all or a master of a few like it has but they all have to overlap does that make sense so me being good at creating also helps me be good at helping other creators um, and it's, it's somewhat of an overlap, so I think that's what helps me, but it still can be a lot. Because I feel like if I really went 100,000% in in content creation, I would excel. Or if I went 100,000% in being an influencer market consultant and lawyer in this space, I would excel. So trying to find the balance between giving both 100 can be a lot. But the benefit is when you work for yourself, I can like, you know, yeah, give a little bit more flexibility, but... All right, y'all, nothing fancy over here, but this is like my go-to breakfast. I don't know why there's a jelly in the middle. Anyway, messing up the aesthetics. <laughs> but bacon, toast, eggs with spinach. This is like my go-to or one of them. If I don't do this, I do oatmeal. But... Okay, y'all, I haven't jumped in in a minute because I literally was just sitting here working. So I get a lovely FaceTime call from my friend. Hey. <laughs> you can only imagine what this young man has asked me. Yeah, hungry? No, I'm not hungry. I don't need to eat no food. I don't need to eat no food. Now, um, the shrimp and grits. <laughs> they had the, sh the shrimp, was the shrimp on the side? Or was it in the <laughs> Now, what part of the shrimp did they use? <laughs> We're having friends giving tomorrow, y'all, so I'll be vlogging that too, but. In the mean, so maybe tomorrow could be a no spin day. Oh, we're well, not gonna buy boots for my outfit for tomorrow, for the uh, um, friends giving. Hey, I still don't know what I'm wearing. I'm just probably going to wear whatever's in this closet, to be honest. Okay, y'all. I am so proud of myself. I've switched back into my little comfy sweater. Um, I'm proud of myself because I put my foot down and I said, today is a no-spin day. So I'm trying to have like one or two days out the week. At least one day out of the week where I just don't spend any money because I've been spending money like I'm a drug dealer, baby, and that's just not going to work. Um, we got financial goals to meet. But um, I'm about to get on a call with my therapist. Y'all know I use better help for my therapy, so. I'm about to get on a call with her. This is not sponsored. I really just use the service, baby, because once I don't do that for sure, just, everybody needs somebody a therapist, okay? Um, so I'm about to get on there. Right now, I'm just drinking a iced chai latte. So let's get my AirPods in. And talk to Miss Ma'am, because I got some things to say. Mm. My battery's dying, so I'm going to charge this while I'm on the phone, and I'll hit y'all up. I'll probably just hit y'all up tomorrow, because tomorrow I have a workout in the morning and stuff like that. More, like, activity. And we have a Friendsgiving, which I'm so excited. And we also need to find something to wear for that tomorrow, the day of. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, people. So, as you see, I look crazy, but I made my little supplement. I've never tried this before, but one, um, there's a personal trainer online. I also went to college with her. Super cool. Trust her. Um, and, yeah, she said to try it. So, we're going to drink this up on an empty stomach. I am working out today, but I want to record a workout outfits video, which should be up before this video. So, I will leave that link down below. But, I'm about to record that really quick. I have about... 30 minutes to do that. So I'm gonna do that. I can't show y'all behind the scenes because I'm rushing just a little bit. Okay, I'm officially back from my workout. Finished recording um, like 95% of before the workout, which I'm so proud of myself because I was like, woo, how am I going to get this done before my workout? But I had a pretty good workout. I'm about to deconstruct my little filming area. Um, this light is from Amazon. I love it because you can dim it. It's just so good. It's just such a good, um, put y'all down. It's just such a good light. So 
Woo! Today is already starting off good, but also kind of stressful. I have so much to do and I feel like I just don't have enough time. But one thing about me is I'm gonna eat breakfast. So I'm about to make some oatmeal because it's cold. Um, and shout out to the woman at the worker class that said, girl, you have no waste. Play with somebody else. Stop hyping me. Don't do that no more. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, stop. No ways. Oh my God. Um, also, update from the little like burn fat burner thing that I took this morning. I don't feel any different. So that's good as far as like no breakouts, no like allergic reaction or anything. I'm always like nervous with taking new stuff, especially like supplements. So I'm going to keep taking it every morning and see what it's giving because apparently you can take it even if you're not working out and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, make oatmeal. I got some apples. I want like a cinnamon, brown sugar, cinnamon, apple. Oh, it just sounds so good and comfy and cozy. Okay, y'all, we are dressed for Friendsgiving. Sorry about the lighting. I'll probably show you guys a better view at the, there we are, is it getting brighter, is it getting brighter? Brighter, is it getting brighter? The dress from H&M, I did a little pinup moment because it was kind of just giving boring. <laughs> my coat is actually from Fumi, shout out to my girl Fumi. It's from Zara, my shoes are Banana Republic. I kept it kind of basic, I feel like. But the theme was just brown, copper, and gold. Then, of course, I'm gonna wear Miss Louie, but this is what we're giving. I feel really cute. My makeup is really cute. So, yeah. Hey, friend. You look so good. Y'all look so good. No, really. You look good, too. It's giving cold. I don't know what weather y'all got out here, but for me... Desmond and Gianni were like, mm, 
Can we do that gallery five? And they said. Steve Madden. These jeans look so bad. Damn. Do they really look that wrinkled? Yeah, they look wrinkled. Oh, I'm so late. Okay. I'm gonna take like one minute to try to like hit these with an iron or a steamer or something. Okay. Bye! Hey okay, y'all, we have made it to the Birmingham Times. A little interview. Let's do it. I did steam my pants. So I have to start like this. Okay. I it could be long-winded, so it would be like, good, hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> So I was born in New York. I was raised in Michigan, Flint, Michigan. I left there my senior year in high school. My mom moved to Georgia, so I finished uh, online classes. So I traveled up there when I had to. And then I went to college in Georgia at Kennesaw State University. I majored in political science, minored in criminology. Once I decided I wanted to go to law school, I went into college like, I'm gonna be a theater major. I'm gonna go to the performing arts because I've been in theater since I could walk. Like I just loved being on stage. So what did you like about it? I just, I, that's a good question. I don't know if it was the like, it just felt right. That's the best way I can put it. Like behind the scenes, in front of the camera, like learning about camera equipment and learning about just like, something is different than about like being on film versus like performing arts. Mm -hmm. Cause if something goes wrong, the audience looking at you, you looking at them, you gotta figure it out. So I love like the thrill of like, you don't know how this performance is gonna go tonight. But like every night is good. It's always, always fun and it's always something different. Um, and that's actually what I wrote my personal statement to law school on is the feeling, the same feeling I got on stage in theater was the same feeling I got when I was in the courtroom, like advocating for my clients. So yeah. So I was like, if I, I said, if I get into law school, I'm gonna go. Then I got into law school, so I went. I hear Monet LLC is like the entity that covers everything. So this was the first, I'd say business that I started. Um, and this is just, I work with brands. So me as an influencer and as a content creator, I help brands promote and advertise their products online. Okay. Mm -hmm. y'all so I got invited to a grand opening in Birmingham I love like events and things one of my friends was supposed to visit or was supposed to come with me but y'all I forgot I have the lighting the lighting the lighting I forgot I have um, a sponsored real due today I thought it was due tomorrow so I can't stay that long but I do want to go inside and see what it's giving how are you? I'm Mari, I'm the oh, marketing manager. Yes, I'm here to see what it's giving. Yay! Y'all, 
these are a shoe. These are so cute. I don't know where I'm going, but ooh, how unique. <laughs> people we are back home I've actually been working like for the past what time is it oh wow probably like two hours sitting here um, I just edited today's day four out of my 10 day free contract series I'm doing on my TikTok and my Instagram the legal tea social um, I also would like to post on my Instagram and I also need to edit and finish this YouTube video which I'm actually gonna do that first. I feel really proud of myself for being this discipline because um, I mean I really like really don't feel like doing this. <laughs> also, I had to edit and submit um, a reel for a brand, also with a caption that I had to draft. I need to send an invoice really quickly to a contract client. Hey, y'all. <laughs> this is like a part of the night where like I would just like not check in with y'all, but I'm still working. But it's 7:52 and I'm still working. I do want to do a day in the life vlog where I show you guys like it's like actually I'm showing you like what time it is while I'm doing stuff, but um, it's not today. Um, that's not today because I, uh, not this vlog, because weekly vlogs, it's like, I could probably do the time, but it's just so tedious to keep, keep up with. If I did that, I'd have to like literally edit. I feel like I'd have to edit per day. Like, I don't know, but Vlogmas is coming up, as y'all know. I'm doing Vlogmas, I am doing Vlogmas. Um, I'm not going to do only vlogs, but I will try to do like timestamps as far as like wake up at seven or wake up at eight or whatever the time I wake up in those vlogs. I feel like that'll add like a little extra something different, you know, <laughs> and of course I'll try to do some holiday stuff. So I'm going to do like decorating the tree and like baking Christmas cookies and things. And, um, maybe I'll do that with my friends. I think it'll be really cute. Like, I don't know, like a girl's night or something. I don't know, but really excited about that I have so many holiday Christmas party things I need to update on my calendar like three of my friends are having holiday stuff one of my friends is her birthday in December we're doing like a girls night I'm going on a brand trip it's just so much happening <laughs> but all exciting things um So I am about to go live with Nikon. Let me show you guys behind the scenes. It look, it literally looks crazy over here. Okay, the purse can move. I need my lap, my iPads. I can see my little outline that they gave me. I don't feel great, so I got a medicine ball from Starbucks. I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod because I'm using my camera, my Nikon Z30, to stream, which is so exciting. Um, I had to move closer to the TV thing because. I need to plug my camera in while I'm streaming. So, this is the setup, but I'm rushing. I won't be able to show you guys behind the scenes because I'm literally rushing. Let's do this! Okay, y'all. So, the live went so well, even though I feel like seven cents. Because <laughs> I don't feel good at all. Um, that Starbucks medicine ball, I ended up getting one. Literally saved me so that I can make it through the live. But it went so well. Thank you. I, I could get emotional, but thank you to Nikon for letting me do that, for partnering with me in general, for just giving me a chance because I feel like I don't know like <clears throat> I've always felt like I'm the underdog like when it comes to consecration even though I've been doing it for decades 
and it just feels good to like partner with some phenomenal brands like Nikon um, and I worked with so many amazing brands and every time I think about it I get emotional because I'm just really thankful to y'all to them I'm just really thankful oh let me get over here um, I gotta go track down a package for another sponsorship y'all <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna just call it a night for the rest of the day <laughs> calling it a night early um, <clears throat> so I can feel better um, because Vlogmas is going to be here before you know it. So honestly, I'm like, if I had to get sick, I'm glad it's right now. So then Vlogmas, we're going to be ready. I'm getting my hair done. Let's stay tuned for that. Um, for Vlogmas, I'm so excited. I just, so many fun things to come. And I'm just so grateful. I never, ever, ever want to forget this feeling of gratitude. No matter how big I get. No matter how many goals I accomplish. I never everyone I forget is feeling great too I have one little quick story to share with you guys yesterday I went to lunch with one of my friends I think I vlogged that and I was telling her how she was asking me do I pitch and stuff like that because she's starting a, like a management agency and I was like oh girl can you pitch me because I get incoming which is such a blessing but I really just don't pitch it right because I just don't have time and like mm -mm. so I was telling her she's like well have you pitched before and I said there was this one brand I DM them one time and they ghosted me so I was salty. And then I've worked with other brands, of course, like I've DM'd them, but that was like the first brand I ever DM'd and I was so nervous. And they ghosted me. That was yesterday. I'm shaking. Today, I go on my email. Ooh. Mm -mm. I go on my email and it's an email from that brand. We need to do a whole sit down chit chat about some stuff because you'll understand why this really hit me. Because I was like, it's consecration for me. Like, not that I was going to quit, but maybe slow down. I don't know. I just was, like, feeling so frustrated and, like, as consistent as I've been. It just feels like <clears throat> it doesn't feel like it's enough. But I always remind myself, like I remind others, that it's not only about the numbers. Like, it's also about the quality. It's about <sighs> the quality of the content, the quality of my audience, the community, the the conversations we have in the comments, y'all. Like, I really appreciate it. Even if I don't respond to all of them, I see it. I see you. I appreciate you. Um, but that was wild that was wild so literally saying how they ghosted me years ago this is years ago maybe two or three or more probably three plus that's in the medium and then to get an email from that exact brand if y'all don't believe in God because I was just praying to him about I need some guidance yesterday with my friend and I'm mind blown I I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you don't know, you're about to find out. I always end my vlogs with an affirmation. So, <clears throat> if you made this far in the video, comment below. My life is filled with an abundance of goodness. Mmm. An abundance of goodness. Man, I love that. I love that so much. I'm going to run that back one time for the one time. If you made this far in the video, comment below. My life is filled with an abundance of goodness. Mmm. And if it's not, it will be. Keep saying these affirmations. Keep manifesting, but put in the work behind it. Mm. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Later.